What's happening, Shredder Nation? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to episode number 102 of Living the Shredder Life. I'm your host, Coach Jesse. And tonight, I am joined with the other half. Last week, we had uh, this, this man's amazing wife on, uh, Trace Walker, uh, and she just rocked it. And, you know, they are the first ever um, couple Ice of Body Grand Prize champions and you know what i love hens uh first i love that you showed up i i love that you hike to the top and give us that epic uh amazing view it literally makes me just feel show everybody the view i mean come on people like oh just breathe that in like i can like sense myself being there mm -mm 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 -mm. Anytime, you see you're always welcome. <laughs> bro, I will live every morning like vicariously through you, knowing that you had that view. And I'm like, I wonder what they're what they're seeing this morning. Cause it's just like <laughs> it's just gonna bring me peace. But um, anyways, so last week we had your wife. This week, obviously, you you guys are the first ever Isobody Grand Prize champions as a couple. Um, so let's start there, dude. Congratulations. That's epic. Oh, bugger, I just must have cut out. Can you ask the question again, Jess? Yeah, I said, I said, let's, I said, you guys are the first ever couple Isobody Grand Prize champions. So let's just start there with a huge congratulations. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Uh, thank yeah. you. And thank you for the introduction. Um, hi, everybody who's watching and um, gets to watch this, this live and in, in, in the recording. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, what else do you need to say apart from um, firstly being honoured to be crowned that first ever um, couple title, you know. Um, it was definitely, like Trace mentioned, it was something that we envisioned and manifested right from day one, you know, and for it to come to pass and um, happen for us, um, yeah, it was definitely a privilege and, and so humbling and honoring but also a testament to I guess uh, the dedication that you know we put into achieving that goal and you know obviously when we uh, put our minds to something in our whole heart that you know when when it does come to the fruition that it's it's absolutely possible to be able to chase the next goal or the next dream so yeah yeah so for, for that to happen it was a huge honor yeah, for sure, man. And I, I love how you, um, you know, it's your, your guys' story is one of, you know, perseverance and, you know, it, it's not, you know, I don't want people, you know, yes, like you win, you get money, you do this, it's epic, you've changed your life, but that, that story leading up to it, um, you know, is what, you know, I get inspiration from you guys, you know? Um, so let's, you know, for people that don't know, um, let's share some of that, you know, and, and kind of dig in a little bit, if you don't mind, because I know you you guys are an open book and you guys love to share to inspire others. Um, and, you know, I was telling hens before we actually, you know, clicked, you know, go live here. Um, I was like, dude, you know, this one really means a lot because from a male perspective, you know, there's not, not a lot of males that are willing to talk about feelings and talk about past and talk about a struggled childhood and talk about how it really impacted their life and, you know, how that affects relationships and marriage and you being a parent and, you know, how then, you know, to, how do you dig out of that hens? Right. You know what I mean? Like, cause that, that it's a tough yeah. space, right? Like you feel depressed, you feel like you're a loser. You feel like, you know, and society says, Oh, you got to man up, you got to man up. Like, fuck like what, what does that mean you know what i mean like it's so confusing for some we get stuck in this cycle and then i've watched so many go and and for me you're just that that hope for people you know it because you guys were there and we can share some of that you know if you'd like and, and that build up to how you know where you guys were before and kind of show people what that transition looked like for when you were able to say yes to yourself and then you know the path obviously after and then what it's done for life being able to make that simple, not simple, but really when we think of it, it is a choice. It's a simple choice that we choose to make, right, bro? Like, so um, yep. if you don't mind, 
lead people up like, well, you know, I know, you know, your childhood was, you know, has a big impact in obviously um, your mission, right? Do you, you know, do you mind sharing yep. with people kind of, you know, what led you up to, I guess, what was the whole buildup? Yeah, no, awesome. Um, and yeah, just, uh, just, just thinking about it. Um, it, it's brought up a lot of emotion. Um, yeah. You know, it's, um, Just taking a minute because it's actually, um, it's not a sad moment, you know, it's a, a moment of um, gratitude and, um, you know, I'm just, I'm actually real proud of um, the breakthrough, you know, being able to come out of what, uh, what was and um, break that cycle for, for my kids and myself. But, um, yeah, growing up it was quite tough. Um, grew up in a lot of abuse um, and, and domestic violence. Um, yeah, you know, watch watch my mother um, be beaten often, and um, yeah, sort of endured that uh, growing up. And um, so I left. I left home. My father was in prison at the, when I was at the age of. 11 12 transitioning into that vulnerable age um and yeah i left home at uh 14 15 around 15 and um moved in with some family who who uh took me in on the farm and i guess you know coming from from that brokenness and um growing up you know, I had a lot of friends who sort of had uh, the life or what what is deemed as uh, a good home or, um, you know, a safe home. Mm -hmm. And I got to witness the other side from what I was growing, growing up in. Mm -hmm. And um, I sort of always knew that the way I was raised isn't the only way. So... You know, although I was raised the way I was, it was uh, there was always in my mind and in my heart knowing that I could be different or I can make a difference when I do have children because I've seen it different. And um, yeah, you know, obviously when we did have, I did get married um, to my beautiful wife, and we started having our family and. Um, we've got quite a blended family, so there was a lot of dynamics to deal with there. And, um, you know, although I, I thought and knew that I could be different and do it, do it differently and choose better for my children to come, um, I struggled with that because I, I didn't actually know how to do that. And, um, you know, as a broken man, um, yeah. I didn't have any communication skills, anything like that, you know, um, didn't know how to, how to talk, um, and open up because I was never been, I was, I was never able to express myself growing up. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so it was quite tough. Um, uh, it was real tough in that aspect, building a connection, I guess, with, with Trace and, um yeah through it all you know we got married and um had our ups and downs but you know it was growing we were growing through those periods and um sadly it got to a point in our marriage where we were pretty much on the brink of divorce um and yeah Long story short, Isogenics intervened and came across our path and um, pretty much kicked off this beautiful journey that we're on now. Yeah. 
it saved our marriage and I think Trace mentioned that, you know, and it allowed both of us as individuals t- to then sort of work on ourselves to then become better as a unit and, um, you know, it was just making that conscious decision that, well, for me anyway, it was if I don't sort out myself, then, you know, I'm going to lose everything that I ever wanted yeah. in life, which was yeah. my family and my wife, you know. And um, it's amazing that through health, you know, we were able to save our marriage, um, yeah. be on the journey of self-growth, you know, self-development. Um, you know, it's crazy. And, I, you know, just thinking about it now, you know, it's it's pretty much powerful to to be able to feed ourselves right to then you know be the best versions of ourselves and just be the best for for those around us you know obviously by just giving ourselves the best yeah yeah so i'm just i'm just while while i just finish off here i'm just going to spin it around cuz the sun's popping up yeah Tell everybody why that's such an epic thing. Tell I, I learned a, a lesson about where you guys live. Tell everybody where you guys live and and that fun fact about the sun. Yeah, so Gisborne, um, Tairawhiti here in New Zealand is the first place to see the sun in the world. So, in the world, you've seen it here. In the world, first place to see the sun in the world. We're the most eastern part of the world. Look at that. Mm. And you've all just seen the sun before you even get to see the sun. That's right. That's right. Courtesy of Hens Walker. <laughs> the future. We're in the future. <laughs> yeah. But you know, um, and that, and just just while I, while I mentioned that word, you know, future, um, you know, through through this, uh, I guess, transition in our journey in our life journey, um, that's what we really had to, I guess, look at and evaluate was our future, our future as a family, our future as individuals, the future for our children, you know, and that that was, I guess, the driving factor to to the change, and you know, it's not it's not a a hard decision. You know, for me anyway, like I said, my children were everything I wanted. My wife was everything I wanted, you know, yeah. and, and to lose that just by, just because I wasn't in, in the best, um, or I wasn't being the best that I could be, you know, that's, I'm not saying it's an easy fix, but it was an easy decision to, to make, you know, either yeah. true health or lose my family. There's no... Yeah, when you I guess when you put it that way, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. you know, that's what what are you willing to lose? Yeah. Um mm. bro. So I wish I could just give you like a like a giant man hug right now. Um you know, I, I know it's hard, you know, I know it's, it's, but bravo, like, you know, Isogenics provided the path, the, the yeah. tracks to run on, which is what I like to call ER shred, the tracks to run on, like your trains derailed, this just gets you back on track. And when you kind of think about it, it's like health would, I, I try to let, I'm like, <laughs> I think we just get mixed up with everything, but it's like health is so powerful because if you're not functioning right, you can't even make the right decisions. You know what I mean? So it's like, and, and that's not where I'm going with this, but it's just like acknowledging that. Right. And you, you've shared that, but like the courage you've had, bro, to, to just fight through and persevere. And, you know, while it's an easy decision, it is simple. I don't know if it's easy, right? It's a simple decision, but it's not yeah. easy because millions of people, including myself, have spent years in what I now call the suck. And I call it the suck because it feels like an empty freaking vacuum of death. 
<laughs> because we sit in our shit for so long and yeah. the, the quote unquote mistakes, mistakes, right? And it's like, yeah, we can acknowledge the mistakes. I learned this amazing thing. I don't know if you ever heard of a guy, Brendan Bouchard, um, high develop, uh, high performance coach. He's like the coach of all the coaches. Like he's like that guy. Um, and it, you know, he's, um, he said this, you know, we get stuck in this, in these stories. Right. And it's like, yeah, there's mistakes and we can acknowledge, you know, like what you went through hens, you know, you're, you're a fucking survivor, bro. And, and you're strong because of that. Right. Like I know that grit, it, you had to dig into that grit. And I, I'm trying to yeah. share this with people because man, I feel your pain. Like my body's fucking tingling because I struggled too you know, differently. And so I can relate to that and feel like just the, the emotions that come over that, you know, trying to, to handle what we've done and the shame. And cause you feel all that, right? Like you feel like it's your fault. You feel like it's like, you know, you did something wrong. And, and even though you've seen the light, you were never taught you said, right. So I, th I picked that up in your, in your, in your share that I wanted to highlight for people that, you know, it's like you can acknowledge, but then you have to kind of like, okay, if you know there's something there, you can see it, you can manifest it, but then you got to make the choice yeah. to do the work. Yeah. And that work is fucking hard and it's scary and it sucks. And it's <laughs> like I'm getting emotional thinking about like some of the stuff, you know what I mean? Like even I'm trying to like fight through sometimes, you know, and it's like, it's hard to do, but like hens, like I just, I'm, I'm trying to highlight you brother, because you being so powerful and being able to fight through these feelings and emotions and share that, um, it's such a gift, bro. I just want to tell you that it's such a gift that you have, um, cause you can inspire so many people. Thank you, man. Like, really, thanks for sh for showing up and and sharing like that. Um, I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy, bro. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you so much for doing that. No, thank you, GC. And um, yeah. yeah, like you mentioned, you know, this with the inspiration side, you know, it's now for me being able to sit here and and acknowledge what what was to you know what tracing myself and now creating for our family you know to be able to yes. Yes. speak and speak into that area and to be able to speak into the men who are who have come from a similar walk you know it um it's it's empowering you know what i mean it's it's empowering to be able to firstly like you said acknowledge um the shit yeah acknowledge the shit yeah. and then look at it and say how can we change it or what yeah. can i do to make yeah. this better you know yeah. and that being able to make that acknowledgement before the decision that's powerful you know there's not not too many men like to sit in the mirror and tell themselves that they're not doing well yeah that you know that they're a bad role model yeah you know that they're not a great influence for their kids you know no one no one likes to acknowledge that but i mean you know as as much as it hurts you know i know myself look in the mirror every day and you know make sure am i doing the best that i can yeah for myself for yeah. my family and for those who follow you know and and yeah I've had I've had some beautiful opportunities throughout the past um, couple of years while being on this journey of um, yeah. being able to speak into youth and things like that and um, you know mean other men and just just through some of my passions and one of those being hunting so you know just being able to have that space to create the vulnerability you know for other people to to willingly share yeah. Um, you know, and I, I, I couldn't have been able to, I guess, advocate that space without being able to go through it myself or having gone through it myself. You know, you can't, you can't go and go to university or anything and study hardship. 
<laughs> right. You have to live that shit, like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, I wonder if that's why so many people. You know, you always hear about um, everybody for some reason. <laughs> majority of people have to get to like their 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 dead bottom. Like you got to be like yeah. suffocating in the mud before like the shift happens for some reason. You know what I mean? And it's like, if you have that shift, but like hopefully by speaking into youth and sharing the story and getting it out there and letting people know like, Hey, like it's okay. Like it's okay that life wasn't fair. It's okay that like you've been through shit. Yeah. It's okay that things happen. Like, yes. Like we're not saying like, it's not hard and it's not real because it's very real. But just know that on the other side of some hard work, but it's like you can keep suffering in the hard or you can suffer a little in the hard. And then on the other side, there's this light, right? There's this light at the end of the tunnel that, you know, a guy like you that sh is showing like, look, like this is what's possible. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is what's possible if you can just, use that pain, suffering, whatever. And, you know, the other, what, what, what I was sharing with you before, like acknowledge the mistake, but then like what you said, that was literally what Brendan suggested was go through a series of questions instead and be like, okay, like, man, this really sucks. Like there's some really yeah. shitty things that happen to really good people every day, every, every day. day. And if you're just, right. And if you, if we can just like, acknowledge that and then be like, okay, can I learn something from this nonsense? Like, can I change it? Can I learn a new skill? Do I have to develop a new skill? Do I have to embrace something else? Like, do like, just ask these things. Right. And you then use that as what you did as motivation. Yeah. Like, I think like you had this, I almost like I envisioned you having this switch when you were talking from like what you shared growing up with the abuse and, and what you saw, but then also seeing a glimpse of what was possible and then yeah. coming, you know, fast forward full circle into all the other stuff. And you're at this point where it's like, okay, I can choose to have that glimpse that I know is possible. Or I can just choose to continue to, to this and then ruin and, and not have anything that I want. Right. So you ultimately have to have that hard decision, that hard conversation. Yep. Um, what you just shared is actually going to probably bring something up for Jackie. You know, Jackie, obviously, you know, Jackie. Um, but her and I did this thing called the high five challenge with Mel Robbins, another uh, motivational gal. And, and um, it was sitting with yourself in the mirror. You know how many people can't do that, Hens? Because I don't, but I could imagine. Yep. It's crazy, right? I mean, think about it. Did you you used to couldn't you couldn't do it, but now it's like it, when you look into your soul, like can you give yourself a high five? Can you give yourself a high five to the heart? Can you, you know what I mean? Like acknowledge that and and go. So that's so awesome. So one one, one thing I'd like to add just there is you know me me prior to isogenics and ER Street and and this journey, you know, when I looked in the mirror, it was from a place of like, it would be like, I'm fine just the way I am, you know, but trying to, trying to tell myself or make myself believe that I didn't need to change anything because I'm perfect just the way I am. Yeah. But the trouble is the world around us, life around us, those around us, you know, the relationships we have, everything changes. And if we're the same person, from this time next year or so on, you know, then we haven't evolved in ourselves. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's something I believe, you know, and, you know, like I said, life's forever changing. And if we don't change with it, or, you know, if we're not looking to develop ourselves, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. then, you know, and I mean, you know, we can hold, hold to our values. There's nothing wrong with holding to our values and our ethics and, and morals, but, you know, always look to to be a, a better version or to develop yourself you know there's nothing wrong with being, putting ourselves out there to to be better 
you know, I think you mentioned earlier about, um, you know, what, what I took from it anyway was um, a lot of people tie themselves to their story or anchor themselves to their story yeah. and don't actually use that as motivation yeah, or as a drive to to let go. Like a lot of people don't want to walk away from that. But I mean, man, the moment you just give yourself, it will take that first step. Yeah. You know, if anyone's listening, you know, and yeah, I just, I just cannot express how powerful that first step is to, yeah. to bettering yourself. And, and, and hens, it's not, um, yeah, what comes to my mind, you got to launch into action, like commit. Yeah and launch into action like a rocket ship doesn't take off with a little force <laughs> uh, an airplane has to go x miles an hour before it can create liftoff like you gotta take off you know what i mean like you gotta you yeah. gotta just go um and and let let people know like like the beginning right the very beginning was it perfect was it messy was there mistakes did you learn? Like, what what was it like for people? So they just understand that, you know, I think we, some, a lot of people get this wrong perception about like, oh, I gotta, I don't know, have this magical plan and have this, you know, perfect setup and, and I gotta get a membership to the gym and, and, uh, and then we play that story too. Right. So like, let people know, like, what's the reality of what's possible. What did you guys do? Cause this, this is. Epic. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if, if you got to watch my wife, um, she kind of mentioned it through through her um, time with you, and yeah, it was it was pretty much dust to dawn for me anyway. Dust to dawn work, um, full on, and then it was get home, do the family, you know, get the get the children settled, and then nine o'clock we were taking nitro, nine thirty we were taking pre workout. And going to the into the shed where we just had a couple of free weights. Um, we'd watch a bit of YouTube videos, follow along stuff, um, and we'd be be in the shed till yeah around up until midnight some nights. Yeah. And um, you know it was just like Trace said. I remember her saying, you know, we did whatever it took, whatever it took. And um, and it was funny when you actually mentioned about. You know that that time, unconsciously knowing that we were in a space of like a date, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. yeah, that time of connection, um, yeah, you know, and and when we were doing that, it was um, yeah, it was real powerful, you know. Um, although Trace doesn't like being, you know, from from me anyway, motivated like a like a personal yeah. trainer, she hates it. She just yeah. tells me shut up. Um, but um, you know, it's yeah, and to just to think of the the extent that we did go to, um, you know, man, yeah, a lot of lot of um, lot of sweat and um, yeah, it was actually crazy. Like just yeah, just really thinking about it, you know, like man, going back down memory lane, you know, like frick, we yeah. were nuts. <laughs> Um, yeah. but yeah, nothing, you know, no gym or anything or no gym membership anyway, I should say, um, yeah. you know, and yeah, it was just, just that, that conscious decision of, uh, we need to do something. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like you said, you know, just get on, just get on with it. Yeah. 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 And, and tell how many, how many children do you guys have? So we have four, um, we have four children and three at home. So one. Yep. 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 No, I was guys, Jenny. no, he was gone. Yep. And you guys live on a farm. There's animals. Yep. There's all, all sorts of stuff to take care of and adulting. I like what I call adulting. <laughs> those, those nonsense adult yep. responsibilities that we all have. Um, you know, so it's just, um, you know, it's just about that, that intention, you know, so again, I, you know, yeah. I, I love that story because it just shows like, <laughs> you always hear like, if, if you want something bad enough, you can do it. Right. Yeah. And it's like, 
you gotta you gotta really just like okay like can it really just be that like can it be that and really think about i, I think everybody's had a point in their life where it's like you've wanted something bad enough and no matter what you just made it happen yeah I, I hope I hope you choose health. I hope you choose health as one of those things. Now, in the future, five days ago, I, I truly in my soul hope you do because I'm gonna we're gonna get into the after, you know, um, and you'll you'll get to see and hear from hens like all, just all the amazing things that happen. Like, yes, you physically change. Yes, you look sexier in your clothes. Yes, you feel better naked. Yes, all those things are real. Okay. They're all real, but there's so much more. There's so much more depth, what we call the empowerment piece. Right. Um, so, so let's, if we can get, start getting into that, if you don't mind hens. And again, thank you for, for sharing so much and being so vulnerable. I, I just, I really can't appreciate you enough for that. Um, so we got to start with Isobody cause we can't just skip over that. Right. <laughs> um, Iso body for, for, you know, our, um, our partner company, um, you know, our supplier of, of our amazing nutritional products, Isogenics, um, they put on a free fitness competition. Uh, it goes for 16 weeks. And it's not really even a competition. It can, it can be a challenge. You can use it as a competition. You can just do it for yourself. You don't have to go public. Like, so, so there's all sorts of ways, but it's free and it's, it goes for 16 weeks and literally just for, for saying yes to yourself and not really doing anything besides submitting before and after photos and, and a short little essay about like what you learned and what transpired. And you don't even have to do that if you don't want to be entered. You get a $200 free product coupon. And I'm not sure what it is in New Zealand. So I'm just saying America. But you get, you get a free coupon for free, amazing, dense, superfood nutrition to keep fueling your body. Just to say thanks for saying yes to yourself. But then there's opportunity to become a finalist and then what you and your wife became is a grand prize winner um which comes with you know i mean just as a finalist you get a prize for that which is really awesome and you'd be qualified for trips and and you know just to cool it it's just a really they treat you like royalty right and it's like i mean you're like yeah like you get 100%. so spoiled like so spoiled right like i have so many friends that have become finalists and, and winners now that i'm just like dang, like, that's crazy. Like it's awesome, but it's a crazy awesome, yeah. you know? Um, so you get all that, you get this, you get this opportunity. Um, but really hens besides that, and I know, you know, Trace spoke on this, like, what about the community aspect? Like what, how, how big of a role does tapping in? Like, so we can commit, we can identify our past. We can, okay, here's the problem. I want to change. I want to move forward, but is it wise to do it on your own? Or did it really help? Like what, what piece did like tapping into the right community play for you, for you guys? Yeah. Um, well, obviously, firstly, you know, can't give enough um, gratitude or um, thanks for the company and, and obviously the opportunities that we have been able to um, experience. Mm. Um, but yeah, you know, that, the community um, is the hub of what Isobody is all about, you know. Um, I think to be able to be in a space that's, that allows you to freely be yourself, mm. to freely um, express some of the tough tough stories that you've journeyed through you know um for us we were obviously come from that place of brokenness as a as a couple and and things like that and throughout our journey plugging into the community it was uh it was quite evident on how many people related or how how many stories that you know were either the same or you know in some way yeah um resonated with with who we were and obviously as individual and as our individual stories also um how many people that you know we could connect with through there you know and um i mean it's not it's not something you go to if you're looking for 
Jim Grunt motivation or something like that, you know, is actually real awesome yeah. um, interaction. Um, you know, it's it's pretty powerful to be able to, yeah, feel, like I said, be in that space to just be yourself, you know, and um, a community in the flesh is hard to find um, like that, but via social media or via, um, you know, online is is again even harder um and yeah and like trace mentioned through throughout that community you know we've made some amazing um connections and relationships friendships um friendships that we yeah none none the wiser would have had if if we didn't um kick off this journey but yeah um yeah as and as as we've been journeying around sharing our story as uh, 2022 Ice of Body Champions, you know, it's, um, again, everywhere we go, we always are looking to add value, um, you know, and that's something that we never even considered, um, you know, our our story or our, our relationship and, and what we journeyed through uh, to be valuable um, until someone comes up to you that you don't even know that has been watching the journey through through Isobody, through this page, through this community, you know, for someone to come up to you and be like, you made the hugest difference in my life just by being, uh, by listening to your story, you know, to, yeah. to hear that um, yeah. is the most purest, the purest um, and rewarding way to, to continue. Yeah, you know, just I mean, why? Yeah, for us, we don't feel that we will ever stop. I say that now, that we will ever stop wanting to, um, wanting to share, wanting to yeah, add value, wanting yeah. to be, yeah, in this community to be able to to share and express because one person at a time, you know, like. And it's that's kind of how it's been for us is just one person at a time um, acknowledging uh, the difference our story has made, you know, and that's yeah. just yeah made us really grateful. Um, yeah, because you know not only have we been able to inspire, but we've been inspired by others in this community, you know. And um, I know for myself, I went through some struggles, and. Um, you know, there was a period of time where I just would go to the Isobody page if I was feeling shit. I would go to the Isobody page and just go through a few posts, you know, mm-hmm. just to pick my my spirits up, you know, just just yeah. the, the motivation and the encouragement um, yeah. that the community had for one another, you know. I was like, yeah, go through yeah. a few posts and then I was like back on track, um, yeah. you know, just, yeah feeling yeah. feeling alive again and yeah 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 man i mean it makes sense you know and, and everything i've ever been taught or learned it's you know in self-development it's you know community is um it's kind of like it's the easiest cheat you could do is to is, is to find your right tribe and find the right community because it's hard to relate to people that aren't on the self-development journey And I think that's what a transformation in health, you know, it can start off with, I need to lose weight. It can start off with, I just want to feel better. But if you just dig in a little and you you stick with it a little bit longer than the average person normally does on a typical type of diet, right? Which is why you don't want to ever do that. Um, You'll start to find that it's really one of the most empowering self-development journeys you've ever been on. And when you can find a community, it's, that you can learn and grow with because to grow, you have to have that space, right? Hence to share the good, the bad, the struggle and, and know like, you're not, you're not necessarily the only one on that, on that path. You know what I mean? Like there's other people and there's always somebody that has figured it out and there's answers. And and that's, you know, part of the, the, I think that's, you know, part of the power uh, of that community, you know, which is, which is so awesome. So, um, for people that say, you know, I need something. Well, you got something that, that you have yeah. something like you have it. You know what I mean? Like, like 
you have it by it, it's all part of it, you know. Um, all right, so you guys have this epic isobody, you win. Obviously, it's you get to do, you know, the haka on stage and and you know, this epic moment. If if nobody's seen you do the dance, you know, there's a video of that, and you know, your wife shared it with me. It's just definitely it's powerful. Maybe you can throw it in the comments. Um you know, down, down in the, on the video so people can see, um, but you guys win and then take me through, uh, what happened after, you know, short version of it. And then leading up to where ER shred kind of like just fell into your guys's world. Yeah. Um, I won't tell share too much about what happened after we won that. That's, um, between Trace and myself, but, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty. <laughs> Bravo. Well done. Well done. <laughs> it was, um, you know, obviously it was a, 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 a definitive moment in, in our journey to come. Um, yeah. But in that, in that moment, you know, like I shared um, off the live about doing the haka on stage, you know, it was, um, a moment for me to be able to acknowledge my ancestors um, and those who have gone before me who sort of paved the way um, and to be able to just, yeah, obviously, um, I guess, showcase my identity, um, who I am as, as a Māori man, as a, as a person, um, and, you know, to be able to do that on behalf of yeah, my my family and, and um and, and yeah, and my children. Yeah. But I mean, afterwards, you know, it was it was quite full on because we we stayed on in Australia for another week. And um, Trace mentioned, you know, we we upgraded our our um, apartment stay and yep. we were up on the penthouse level. You know, just wanted to give the kids the best experience while yep. being there. And we had our mother and my mother in law there as well, Tracy's mum. And you know, um, to have her in that moment, you know, she's she's been through our journey, our, our marriage journey, and all that. And you know, she's been a, a rock, rock for us. So to be able to yeah share that moment and um, with them was pretty, pretty grateful. Yeah. And I mean, it was we did like sit for a moment and and not disbelief, but like just the reality of it actually happening, like, fuck, we did it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. all the manifestation, everything that we we put into um, becoming finalists and stuff like that, and then to go and win it, you know, it was just like, just a real moment of, um, of just acknowledging the hard work, you know, and actually being like, we did it. Yeah. You know, um, and I mean, there's no no shame in and being able to say like yeah we're the we're the isobody 22 2022 um champions you know like we worked for that and yeah. you know there's no we can't discredit any any of our fellow um finalists because they also put in the hard yards you know and and yeah. today we we still um keep in contact with them and and you know, the journey that we had with them is, is powerful, you know, and yeah. still collectively, you know, we yeah stay in, in contact and things like that. And I mean, for, for us coming from little, little Gisborne, like I think our population might be 45,000. Yeah. You know, and to be able to put that title next to our name from a small town here in New Zealand first time in 20 years for the company for this to happen you know that was blooming oh pretty cool. like pretty yeah cool that's just yeah 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 now yeah. Trace shared with me you know after you guys you know won that you know and this happens to people too you have like this you said that this vision you go on right it's like I kind of envision like leading up to a race, like it's like a five month, just hellish training block and you finish the race and you're done. And then it's like, okay, shit, 
and then life, right? Um, she mentioned that, you know, after a couple of years, she mentioned, you know, you guys were obviously doing your isobody stuff, speaking to other people, helping other people. She felt herself kind of slipping a little bit. Um, did you find yeah. yourself in, in kind of that as well? Is that how ER shared, like when that, when ER shared kind of came into your guys' life or how, how do you, how do you find that in, in life to have transpired for you? Yeah. So, um, in, yeah, in similar ways, um, I guess you'd, I did um, button off, I guess. Um, just took the foot off the throttle a little bit. But yeah. for myself, um, I was actually preparing for a hip surgery, a hip replacement. And um, I actually kept, it was, I think it was the month of October, September, October. Um, I just, you know, I went next level, next level. I actually signed up to the gym, committed myself to going to the gym and to just really step it up and um, yeah. got into, yeah, the, the best um, physical condition that I I had been throughout my journey. Um, Mentality-wise, you know, I was unstoppable. Um and then I got a phone call the day before my surgery um, and it was cancelled and that just kicked it right off. You know, like it was the third time I've had it postponed on me and, yeah. um, you know, I just pretty much threw my hands in the air and like, <laughs> it was like, I give up, you yeah. know, like all this hard work, um, thinking, you know, yep, it's going to happen, preparing myself, trying to get into best shape for my recovery, um, and then that happened and it just was like, nah, I'm done. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you know, and that, that sort of, it did have an effect in, uh, in the way I showed up. Um, it took a toll on, obviously, my my daily routine. Um, it was pretty much a flat stop from gym. I was going to the gym at 3 a.m. in the morning um, before work. And, you know, doing all the self-development, reading books yep. and things like that, you know, just everything I could to to prepare myself um, to pretty much just dead flat nothing. And um, it took a toll. It did take a toll. Um, and then, yeah, I, obviously through that as well, you know, Trace was in her, in, in her transition and um, – yep. Yeah, she had, like she said, come across her path. Um, and like Isogenics, when it came back into <coughs> back into our path, uh, Trace, yeah, looked at it, considered it, and told me about it. And then, um, like a good husband does, I, <laughs> I said, okay, I'll do it with you. And, um, yeah. you know, wanted to support her because that's pretty much how my Isogeny started. Um, I just yeah. started to, to support yeah. her for her first 30 days. Um, two and a half years later, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, you know, and so obviously going coming into ER shred, yeah, jumped on, um, did the 11 day shred, and yeah, I think it was for me, it was day four, um, where I was just like, whoa, like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling you, I'm feeling yeah. you. <laughs> um, you know, and um, I'm back yeah, again. Of, well, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah, it was like, uh, yeah, for me anyway. My, I guess my breakthrough was my my alertness and my mental my mental um focus. You know, and um, yeah, I pretty much like I said, I shared, I did stop any physical training, and um, yeah, haven't been been doing anything like that and yeah um yeah it was just it's it's definitely been the health side that's um been the big flip and yeah. uh yeah like I, yeah. i'm not gonna bullshit i i'm you know since starting that first 11 days um i haven't been committed as such to to the shred um full yeah. on um yeah so what's tomorrow? 
so it's Monday for us tomorrow, yeah. So tomorrow I've um yeah, committed to um getting back on another shred because yeah, we've had a few functions and things like that. So you know I'm not gonna sit here and, and try to say I've yeah. been shredding ever since I started, but um yeah. yeah. Yeah, we just you know what it what it has allowed me, I guess, is is the knowing of um the functions of of your body when when you do this ER shred, you know, for me it was, um, I thought I was dairy intolerant, being on our on our shakes, um, just because of the gas and you know what not yeah. that I'd I'd experience, but um, yeah, the the shred just blooming, man, it was it was crazy. Yeah, my wife actually wanted to sleep next to me, so yeah. <laughs> See, health rec- health increases relationships, right? Your wife wants to sleep yeah. next to you. You, you get yeah. more oyster body experiences, and you know everybody's happy. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> listen, listen, man. There's um there's a couple things, if I may, um that that stood out to me that I hope people picked up on too. So one is, um, you know, a lot of people, hens, you know, we we acknowledge, we make a commitment. We fight towards a goal. We get to that goal. And then it's easy to maybe lose track again. And you shared something where almost like an old story triggered back to you, right? Like just yeah. because you beat it one time, and I think it's important to just yeah. acknowledge this for, for people listening, is like just because you beat it that one time doesn't mean that it magically goes away. This is what I'm no. learning most about self-development is like, it's a constant effort. It's a daily yep. reminder. It's a constant high five to your own heart. High five to yourself in the mirror. You fucking got this. It's it's, it's constantly acknowledging mistakes, constantly releasing mistakes, um, constantly being in growth. And, you know, you brought up a cool thing is like, look, like I just, I had this acknowledgement. I created this experience, right? So that's the importance that I think why somebody should say yes at first. Right. And then I see this with people shredding is like, they, they life happens, dude. Like there's like, but you had this concept where before, you know, Trace told me you guys weren't even eating that much animal protein. And I mean, there's so much evidence to show that like, we evolved. Our brains literally grew to the size that they are now from what they were back in our ancestral days. Um, when we brought meat organs and then meat, you know, meat into the human evolution. So it's like, if you think about it, like the animal, the ruminant animal can, has a stomach that, that does a certain thing with grasses and all those polyphenols and all this amazing nutrition that it has but they're designed to do that and evolution they can process and then we obviously get that through the animal like i get where people are at but it's like look like that is evolution like that is literally like i know vegans are gonna hate me for this but it's like the science is the science you know um yeah and it's like you know when you have this realization so so while you say you weren't shredding I think people get trapped in that. And I would say you are because you still had the understanding. You've made those switches. And while you lived life and had a function hens, the overall concept in your brain was still on that mentality. Am I, am I right in saying that? Like you still were like mostly on that, right? Even though you had other yeah. things introduced that you wouldn't have done on a strict 11 day, but this is not. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely. Do strict yeah. 11 day like we're not supposed to just do you know you can do it until you get to your certain point because some people yeah. need to be a little harsher based on where you've come from and it's okay that's okay yeah. um but like when you get there and you're in maintenance like bro i live life you know what i mean like 90 yeah. percent of my world revolves around meats and high fats and low grain and i don't really do grain i but i do do carbs i do vegetables i do things like um but that's my life and then like there's yeah. like the little pocket that I do, but it's still centering. So I think it's important for people to realize, like, just because you're not doing the strict, you're still there. But the the importance of the community again of utilizing yeah. what we've created here with this twenty seven thousand you know member group is like everybody does that. You're not the only one. Like, stop beating the shit yeah. out of yourself for that. Like, yeah. let go. This is why you have to release every day. Release, release, like. It's just like, okay, that's, that's a mistake 
according to you, but then ask yourself, okay, like, how can I become more powerful? What skill can I put in place? If I know I'm tempted by this, what can I do to maybe not be? And if you can overcome that next time, well, you just built your armor and then you built your armor and then you built your armor. And eventually you're going to be a fucking machine. Yeah. Maybe. And then that machine's going to be damaged and you got to keep building your armor, right? Like, I think that's, that's what I'm hearing from your story is like, that's what I feel, you know, that's what I see you guys yep. going through. So it's like, you're doing that. And I think that that's awesome to acknowledge and let people know too, that like, that's okay. Like that, that's the journey. Yep. That's why being, that's why getting your ass in the group, which by the way, if you're not in the group, it's freaking free. www.ershedders.com. Please get there. Um, it, get your ass in there. Just get your ass there. Like being a part of that um, is just, yeah. you're going to hear these types of stories. You're going to see people. You're like, oh shit, I'm not the only one. Like, look at this dude. He's going to go thrive again. Well, I can choose that too. Yeah. Like, like I can choose that too. You know, no matter where you are, like you can choose that um, and just go, you know, like, like Ken said, you got to launch forward, like launch into whatever you got to do. Like stop beating yourself up over something that's just, Gosh, yeah. let go. You got to let go. That's that like acknowledge, let go, acknowledge, let go, and then launch forward. Right. Knowledge, let go, launch. 100%. Forward. Um, all right, bro. So, I mean, what have you come to realize? Like, let's wrap this up. So I, I want to respect your time because I know our, our, our time difference is so crazy. Um, you got to go enjoy your I'm, day. I'm, I'm all right where I am. I know you are. Stop. Would you stop please? Like, come on. <laughs> um, I'm so like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to admit it. Like I'm, I'm honestly really jealous that you get to experience that every day. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm so jealous, um, but I'm excited for you. So um, it's a good jealous. I'm excited for you. Um, what have you come to realize about food? Cause you went on a health journey and then you did this, which is not your standard way of viewing health, right? Like we, we focus yep. on high quality animal proteins and, you know, if you can do the organs, great. Um, but high quality fats fueling the body, not like running away from foods, but like just being wise, like stop poisoning yourself, like learn what foods, like your blueprint, what have you come to learn yep. about health and then your blueprint in the realm of health, like through this ER shed experience? Yeah, I mean, like shit. When I when I initially heard of it, and like most people, when they when you first see it, you know, you see it on paper, and you're like, huh? That you know, for the past for the past however long I've I've existed, that's not what you're taught, um, you know. And it it's like here's something different. Um, yeah. this is you know when you actually when you actually know what you're looking at, um. It's like, mm, nah, I, I, I don't know, eh? But like when you yeah. actually experience what you see on paper, what ER Shred is actually all about, you know, holy, like, yeah. like you can't actually, you can't fathom that initial experience because your whole world of belief when it comes to food and health is going to get tipped on its head. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I know yeah. for, for myself that that's exactly what happened for me, you know, it's like, um, and I think you said it with Trace, you know, like the men in black, you know, on the video, they got those little spray pen things, erase your memory, you know, I wish, I wish someone could do that. Um, yeah. because, you know, it's freaking, it's powerful. Um, you know, I, I don't know any of the scientific terms or anything like that, but um, to know what organic meat or the fats, you know, actually do for our body, I guess you will never know unless you actually experience it. Um, right. unless you, you know, unless you know what you're talking about. But yeah. um, yeah, for me, with with the obviously doing the initial shred and then foods afterwards, you know, whether it was a, a good decision, poor decision knowing the effect that either either had on my body um you know and being able to actually experience that um i guess consciously knowing that when you put something 
outside of the initial shred and the effects, it was like, oh yeah, it's either good, or it's going to be good for your body, or it's not. Yeah. Um, and for me, it was more so when I was taking our our health supplements, our products that we use through Isogenics, um, and more so the energy based uh, products. It was more for me. It was more um, not not absorbs not the right word, but you know I was able to feel the actual product or the you know what I was using kicking yeah. in, um, yeah. and actually being able to to feel the effects. Where in the past it was just taking it because of a mental note you know, or, you know, yeah. just a, a mental belief that if I take pre, pre-workout, it's going to help me perform better. Um, right. As opposed to actually feeling what it was doing for my body. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, and so, yeah, I guess that for me, that was my, my transition. And obviously the less, less gas, um, you know, wasn't I mean, farting and, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As, as much as I was, you know, and um, yeah, my wife, she, I think she over exaggerates it a bit, but um, yeah, it was, it wasn't normal, but um, you know, now to to be able to, yeah, stick within three or four times a day is, is... yeah, <laughs> but yeah. um, yeah, man, yeah, I, I, I mean. Yeah, it makes it makes perfect sense, you know. And and if somebody's not aware of ER Shred, it's an elimination reset shred yeah. protocol. Um, and and what we're doing is we're just we're just removing all the things that are blocking your body from being able to actually function with all of its systems. Like we have systems in place in the body, the nervous system, the immune system, the endocrine, like they're they're designed to function together. And when we put in fake food. Like if you were to put in diesel into a regular car, like the engine's not going to work right. <laughs> like, and if you just, if you can look at it and be that simple, like your engine wasn't working right. So it's like when you can strip away and put in the right kind of fuel and give yep. the human body what it's designed to function off of, you become more in tune. And then when you go to reintroduce those foods, that's the empowerment is because like you said, you can consciously know, Hey, even though that broccoli is deemed healthy, it's not agreeing with me. Like it causes me massive gas and distress. And that's not supposed to happen when we eat food. So that's not going to be on my list. And, and you go on this like massive explorational journey and you can always pull back. You can always go back to the roots like that. Like the basic 11 day is like our foundation, right? That's the foundation of our house. And then from there, we build the frame. We build the rooms that we want. We, we put the architecture. We, we decorate it the way we want. We find out what is good for us. Not what somebody tells us, but what is good for us. And the 11 day yeah. shred is just like, it's taking, you know, you mentioned like tapping into your ancestors and honoring your ancestors. Like this is to me is the most ancestral thing. If we just kind of look back and trace back history, like leave all the fluff out, leave all the opinions, like just look at the facts, you know? Um, so we yeah. utilize that. We utilize the 21st century research because we'd be stupid not to. And, and we give ourselves the best fighting chance in life with our health to thrive and then we can take on everything else and relationships flourish where we're able to do the hard work, deal with the stress and all that other kind of stuff that comes with it. Absolutely. Makes perfect sense to me, dude. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. All yep. right, man. Well, listen, bro. Um, we're, we're a little past the hour. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to take too much more of your time. I appreciate you. I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate you being so vulnerable. Um, I am so, I'm honestly just fucking really excited for you and Trace, to be honest with you, um, with what you guys have fought through and, and have been able to persevere and come out on the other side and, and to be able to have what you guys are, are having now and experiencing that, like it's all so deserving, um, because you guys were willing to do it, man. So, so just kudos yep. to you and congratulations again. And, and man, stay in that courage, 
you know, no matter what, I know you will, but just stay there. Cause there's people like me. And I know there's so many more that just uh, like, it's so inspiring. It's so inspirational. Like the, the, the lives that can be changed is just, is just, mm. and I hope you realize that now and realize like, you know, it's funny. Like we, they always say in development, like the, the person that you can help the most is like the old version of yourself. And you're doing that, man, like by, by speaking yeah. to the youth, by, by helping these kids that maybe, you know, are experiencing the same things you did and just sharing that, that path and that story, like, Hey, there's, there's something else waiting for you. There's something else there that you're, you're destined to have. Um, yeah. and I can show you the way if you're willing to just, you know, kind of step into that Han, and, and you're, you're laying that groundwork, bro. And that's just epic. That's, that's something to be so proud of. I hope you're so proud of that. Um, and I, I'm just proud and grateful to, to be able to call you my friend now, dude. Like, like I need like so many more of you. Um, and I can't, I can't wait till we can, you, you offered, you said anytime, like I'm, I'm going to one day take you up yeah. on that. Once I, once I can convince the wife to travel with our little guy for that long of a period of time, <laughs> at that point in time, I will be there. I yeah. will be there. Anytime, sure. man, you know. Yeah. We're um yeah, we're true to our word and um yeah, you're always welcome and yeah, thank you obviously for for your part this um in this time and being able to allow me to come and join and um you oh, know to pleasure. obviously share my story or share one half of the story anyway. Yeah. Um but yeah. um yeah, you know, it's been a been a cool experience yeah. and um I mean yeah. yeah, anyone anyone listening, you know, just I just like to leave you with something, you know, that anybody can make a change. You just have to make the choice. Mm. 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 I love that. Anybody can make the change. You just have to make the choice. Mm. It's so powerful, bro. Oh man, I appreciate you. Listen, I told, um, this is, you know, your story is one half, but your story is, is your story. It's so powerful and it's, it's oh, absolutely. really so yep. different from your wife's, you know, um, and I can see now knowing both sides, I can see where, you know, I can just imagine, I, I have this visual of what was happening, what was going on and, and, um, you know, what you guys were able to do by, by joining forces, you know, by making that, that commitment again to each other, um, yeah. for all the right reasons, you know, just like, like they always say, find that why. And it's like, you guys were like, no, like we're going to make this work. Like we said yes to each other. We committed. We yeah. have this beautiful family. We deserve this, uh, and we're gonna fucking make it happen, no matter what. And you guys did that. Yeah. Um, that's so powerful to show what what can happen when you come together, and then when you can surround yourself. You know, obviously, like you show with the Isa body and the ER Shred community and stuff. Um, oh, I'm just so I'm so happy for you guys, dude. I'm just so happy. But I want to get both of you guys on now too to talk about from the relationship side what this yep. can do now that we have your side and her side what you guys have noticed from that relationship side from the past yep. to now the present and where that what why that's so important for your children and what we what we can do as parents and how that can play such a big role because that's another whole episode um you know so we, yeah, can, we can do that too we can do that too so all right guys listen we appreciate your time i know we went a little bit over but hens's story is just like there's no, there's no time limit on that. Um, I hope you guys found some value. Throw into the comments. Let them know what you took away from this. Uh, we appreciate your time. Every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific American time, we go live. Hens, give us one more of that, one more view. One more view. That is the first place in the world that you can see the sunrise. Gisborne, Gisborne, New Zealand. Oh, look at that. Yep. Oh, my God. Dude. All right, brother. I appreciate you. I hope you have an epic day and uh, you know how to get me. You reach out anytime. Let's chat. Let's stay in touch. Let's talk. Yeah. I appreciate it, Jesse, and appreciate everyone who watches. All right, mate. Have a good day. You too.